This is a Stoka scoot, and today we're going to show you how to fold it down and fold it up, both with the bassinet and the seat uh, in position, as well as give you some tips on how to properly maintain it so that the folding system works properly, what you can do if you're having trouble with the folding system. Uh, we're going to deal with this both in terms of a quick fold, as well as how one would fold it down to be as small as possible if you want to fit it in the car for a longer journey. So when you have the seat on, you can fold it with the seat, but when you have the bassinet, you do unfortunately need to take it off first. Uh, there is a little button here on the sides, and you just pull up on it to release the bassinet. Now the bassinet itself can be folded flatter than this. I'm not going to do that in this video, but we do have another video that shows you how to do that. When it comes to the chassis then, you want to start by folding down your handle using the handle height adjustment mechanism. And then in the center is the release trigger, and it's a button with a slider here. You just want to slide the slider over so the whole thing is flush, and then depress that button, and then it will fold down as such. In order to unfold it then, you just want to press in on that button, and it will release, and all fold up to its proper position again. And then you can just reattach the bassinet. You don't have to mess with those buttons this time, it just pops right down into place. So now when you have the seat attached, uh, there are going to be two different ways to fold this. If you have the seat uh, facing forwards, then the quick fit way to fold this is to reach in under the seat unit here, and you can actually lift it up so that it folds a bit flatter. And then you can just fold the entire chassis, as we did before, with the seat attached. Just going to press that handle again. So that's like the quick way to get this in and out of a car. If you want it smaller, it's of course always a little bit smaller and flatter if you remove the seat unit. And if you have the seat unit reversed, you do need to remove it just in order to fold it at all. And in this case, to put it back upright, it's just a matter of pushing it right back into place. So as I said, that's the quick way of getting it into a car. To remove the seat unit, whether it's facing forwards or backwards, it's just a matter of depressing these two white buttons here. Okay, uh, last tip on getting this to fold as flat as possible if you're taking a longer trip is to remove the wheels. So they're quite easy to remove and it will make it fold a lot flatter. As far as the back wheels are concerned, there's a little um, uh, lever here. You just pull down on it and you can pull out the rear wheels. When it comes to the front wheels, there are two white uh, activation mechanisms here. It's not the large circular one, that's for the swivel lock, but behind that is a button. And you can press that in in order to release the front wheel. So if you remove the wheels, you'll get this very, very flat as far as the chassis is concerned. Uh, again, remember if you have the bassinet, we have another video on how to fold that a bit flatter. Okay, if you're having trouble with this folding down, I'm not gonna do too much of an in-depth mechanical um, explanation at this point. But a lot of times this means that when you're folding it up in particular, um, this mechanism here is not locking into place. You know it's locked into place because it's green. Of course, when it's folded uh, and it hasn't locked up properly, you'll see a little red circle there. And if this isn't uh, showing green, if it's not locking correctly, in most cases, it's just a matter of lubrication. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts inside here and they all have to snap into place correctly for it to lock into place. Um, mechanism functions via a pair of metal discs here that regulate some uh, plastic pieces as they lock uh, the various elements into the correct orientation. My recommendation uh, thus would be to use WD-40 or some sort of generic multi-spray and just spray in here as well as between the strut here and uh, the mechanism here. This is like where all of these sort of uh, activation bits are. You can also spray in around the button, and if you take it on its side, and then do it one side and then the other side, right, then it will allow the uh, lubricate, lubricant to run down within here. Also spray here on this little circle here. Get the whole thing well lubricated inside. Another way to spread around the lubrication is, of course, after you spray it inside, activate the mechanism a few times. In most cases, that will deal with any sort of uh, problems whereby the chassis is not locking up. So in any case, that was our guide for folding down and folding up the Stolka Scoot, both in terms of a quick fold, as well as how to fold it as flat as possible if you need uh, extra space for a trip or something. I hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask you to subscribe as it helps continue making videos in the future. Thank you.